Hi everyone, welcome to Legal Talks by Desi Kanun. I am Suyash and I am excited to have started this show. On today's show, we will discuss the case of M K Ranjit Singh and others versus Union of India and others. 2021 SCC Online SC 326, wherein a public interest litigation was filed seeking to protect two species of birds, namely the Great Indian Bustard and the Lesser Florican. which are on the verge of extinction it was contended that the existence of overhead power lines has become a hazard due to which the said species of birds on collision are getting killed it was sought in the petition that the state should ensure predator proof fencing controlled grazing in the enclosure development no installation of overhead power lines no further construction of windmills and installation of solar infrastructure in priority and potential habitats and installation of diverters for the power lines in order to understand this case better let us understand the major contention of the parties firstly it was argued that the great indian bustard is one of the heaviest flying birds in the world having 1 meter height and wing span of around 7 feet it has disappeared from 90% of habitats except parts of rajasthan and gujarat which is to be protected secondly it was contended that every year 1 lakh birds die due to collision with power lines and unless power line mortality is mitigated urgently the extinction of the great indian bustards is certain therefore the petitioners in this case also sought undergrounding of all future overhead power lines further the ministry of power union of india also admitted that the great indian bustards lack frontal vision due to this they cannot detect power line ahead of them from far as they are heavy birds they are unable to maneuver across power lines within close distances thus they are vulnerable to collision with power lines in case of low voltage lines electrocution is often the cause of death due to smaller face to face separation distance high voltage lines do not cause death due to electrocution but cause of death is due to collision in such cases let us understand the observations of the court in this case While considering all these arguments and facts the Supreme Court cited the case of T N Godavarman Thirumulpad versus Union of India wherein it was observed that environmental justice could be achieved only if we drift away from the principle of anthropocentric to ecocentric The case of MC Mehta versus Kamal Nath was also cited wherein the doctrine of public trust was enunciated highlighting that certain common properties such as rivers seashores forests and air are held by the government in trusteeship for the free and unimpeded use of the general public and we as human beings have a duty to prevent the species from going extinct and have to advocate for an effective species protection regime Further in the present case the court perused various reports by wildlife authorities and the measures suggested by them for protection of the two species thereafter it was observed that there cannot be disagreement whatsoever that appropriate steps are required to be taken to protect the said species of birds hence let us understand the steps and directions mandated by the court in this case Firstly it was directed that in respect of the existing overhead power lines the state shall install diverters and for the future power lines a study would be conducted by the state to understand the feasibility for the lines to be laid underground Secondly the court clarified that wherever feasible the state was directed to lay the transmission line underground and wherever not feasible the overhead lines shall be accompanied by installation of the diverters thirdly it was observed that irrespective of the cost factor the priority shall be to save the near extinct birds and various statutory frameworks such as corporate social responsibility compensatory afforestation fund act etc could be utilized for this purpose 
Fourthly, for conservation of the habitat to secure the safety of the eggs laid down by the birds, the court directed that the earmarked area shall be fenced and protected from invasion by predators. Further, the power supply lines that are to be underground are to be avoided in these habitats. Fifthly, a committee was constituted by the court to look into the technical details of the exercise to be carried out and based on its report, the state was directed to take requisite actions. And lastly, the court stressed that wherever the conversion of the overhead cables into underground power lines is found feasible, the same is to be done within a period of one year and till such time the diverters shall be hung from the existing power lines. So what are my concluding remarks? I concur with the reasoning of the court that there is a need to change the existing anthropocentric approach of the human beings. The human beings must begin to understand that they do not have any birthright to litter the earth as they wish to. There are other species too who are quite essential for human survival. The nature has a delicate balance and it has certain beauty in it. To enjoy that beauty, we will need to give some space to other species as well. Otherwise, the human beings can continue to bask in their fake glory and the trouble shall await us in the future. Thus, I hope you enjoyed listening to this show. Thank you for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe us. If you have any comments, feel free to drop them in the comments section and I will definitely get back. See you next time. Till then, stay tuned.